This is the project where we're going to take this picture of a uh, large building, castle, chateau, whatever you want to call it, and, and make it a little more interesting, perhaps for a poster or a magazine uh, article start or some print place where I want this to be a little more larger and impressive. Now, let's just say this building isn't well known, like the Eiffel Tower or Windsor Castle, but um, it is a a substantial building and I want to expand it a bit and use it for, uh, for dramatic purposes. Now remember how we get the building or get the picture going. We first go to image and image size and we set it up to be a, a certain size. I'm, uh, I'm going to go a little large. This is as it came to me by way of my camera, by way of the internet, by way of some disk that I bought a picture of a building on. But uh, to start with, I'm going to make my height uh, seven inches high, and uh, I'm going with seven. Let's uh, let's, go let's go to the height at seven. Because they're hooked together here with this hook and chain, that means whatever I put one, they will automatically go to ratio for the other size. And my resolution, I want that at 400, so that um, when I say OK now, you see my picture gets a little larger. I'm going to go to my navigator and bring it back down in size. And um, then I'll save that so that it's part of uh, File, Save As. This is my original picture. And I've got it worked. Uh, I'm going to make it not a JPEG, but I'm going to make it a Photoshop as I work with it. And I'm going to send it to my um, desktop. I'll eventually put it in a file, but I have it in my desktop now as a... Um, my, my start, my perfect picture start, so that uh, the resolution is high and everything else is working for me. Now, I'm going to fast forward a little bit, and I've done some work on this, and this is the uh, castle now where I've, I've cut away all of the sky. If you look over here, and I'll shut things off, uh, I've got nothing going on over here that is uh, the, the background, uh, or this layer here, I haven't even named it yet. Is, is nothing. I should probably name that and call that just my back. There's no color in it. Then I have a sky, and I, I'll label that sky because it's going to be a very simple background without clouds. I have gradiated it so it's darker blue on the top to lighter blue on the bottom, a linear gradation so that when I put something there. Now here's a picture of the original castle, and you see if I take the sky out, I've gone in here and carefully cut around the these leaves here and around the towers and uh, whatever decorations are there. And I came down to this bush here and then I cut around what looks like a, a brick uh, planter with these plants in it. And there, were, there was a line of rocks down in here that was coming up on a, on a water area. And so I, I cut right to the rocks. Now what I've done is I've cut away, I've, I've copied by taking my entry here. Now I'm going to put this as... Uh, Original castle. Oops. Yeah. Okay, so that's my original castle. And what I've done is I've made a copy of my original castle. And I've done that by coming up here and saying original castle. And I've, I've brought that down. And instead of making a blank new copy or new layer, I made original copy, original castle copy. And when I take this apart and pull it out here, you can see I've got the same size. I mean, I've got the same element. Now, what I've done is I've taken the bounding box, and I've gone around with my move arrow, and I've reduced this down, and I've guessed at it a little bit as far as proportions go. And I put it over here, and I'm going to put it behind now. Copy is behind my, well, I've got to say, okay, because remember, I moved it. I applied a different shape that I said, sized it to. And I'm going to put it down behind there. So you can see this thing is now sitting behind, including the planter, and, uh, and the rock wall and everything like that. So that's my copy. Now, in fact, I'm going to take that out. Uh, I'll just take it away and put it in the trash because I've got my other copy here and I'm going to rename that as Castle Copy. Whoops. There, I get it all spelled right. And that Castle Copy, when I turn on, there it is. And it's sitting, I parked it behind the first one and it's the same picture. Same towers, everything. I've just made it smaller, so in reducing it down in size and, and lining it up here about where the green grass line is here, this little hill, that means that uh, 
I made it a little smaller so that it looks like it's further back or going down in the perspective. Uh, I'm not sure how you measure that exactly. I just did it by visual. And then I've got uh, the, the other planner, and the planner is actually going off the picture here. You remember in the first uh, original picture, there's the people here on the on the grass, and there's these birds. I've uh, taken the people and the birds out, so there's nothing to look at there other than just the castle itself. And by, by taking them out, I took my um, cloning tool and just took brick here and changed brick pixel for people pixels. Okay, so that's in place. And now there's one other thing that I'm adding here. It's uh, this uh, secondary uh, cutout of the other planter. And the reason I've done that is because I wanted to stretch it. See, it's not stretching right here as far as where the rocks go. When I put this, I've made a copy and I've, I've uh, lowered it and stretched a little bit so that the flowers and the trees come together and I've got this area going on behind me. And when I put my sky in, uh, that makes things natural out. And I have everything turned on now. So there is my new picture with uh, the new wing of this building, a new planter. Now, if you look closely, yes, they do look alike, the same little things there. And you could, you could fiddle around with that, even changing the shadow you know, to make it so that it didn't look exactly alike. But for now, let's just go with what it is. And so I've, I've moved this over now, and I've got this large castle, and uh, it's work, beginning to work out for me. I'm going to go to my third version that I've already made up and show you what I've done. I've enlarged the background. It's gone from um, uh, a, whatever it was size. I have it now 8 by uh, 10. And so I've got a lot more size down here under this water line, you know, so I can make my lake thing happen. Now, of course, here's the original building, and I've linked those together uh, now, the total building copy. Well, it's not even a copy anymore. It's just total building. I'm going to take the word copy out. I made a copy of it. Whoops, let's get there. So it's the total building. Now I call it total because there's two parts to it. And the total building has all of the arrangements here I have for the planter and the line, the green line here of the hill is about the same. And uh, I don't see much detail here, but there's a little bit of building going on behind there. Now, um, I've added then um, in the background the sky. Okay, now the sky dips down a little bit here. You can see it's blue to light blue, and it's coming down a little bit. But in front of that, I've got water, and so I'm going to put my water layer in. And with the water, you can see now that right at the edge where those rocks are, I've produced the water, again a gradation, as if it were a lake or a big pond of water out there, and it's dark, uh, going from light to dark. And you see, because it sits behind the total building, this edge is in front. And my sky is behind everything, so that's there. Now, the, the orange background isn't a part of the thing anymore. You can't see it if I turn it on and off. That's just there to let me see the difference of things as I begin to put it together. Now, to make this a little more spectacular, I've taken my building and I've made a copy. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call that then, uh, uh, I guess that was with the other one. Let's go back there and call that one copy. I did make a copy. And... And the reason for that is, oops, I gotta learn to spell copyright one of these days. Now on layer one, I don't have anything there yet, so uh, I'm not gonna take the time to label that just yet because I haven't got anything there. Now, the total building, I'm gonna take a copy out of the total building. There's the total building. Now, if I take the total building out, I've got a copy of the total building. Now, here's where the spectacular part comes. If I turn that off and turn my regular building back on, I've made a reflection. And there it is. See that reflection right there? And it's actually the building reflecting in the water. Now, the way I did that, and I'm going to show you how I did it. Uh, I'm taking this total building copy, and I'll turn everything else off so we can see. Well, I'll leave the water in the sky there. Now, there are some things that you can do in Photoshop that are really kind of interesting. And, and here you're going to have to experiment and try this out. Uh, if I tried to show you every one of them, it would take me the next several months to get through all of this. But um, here's my picture of this total building copy upright. And I'm going to say um, filter. And then I'm going to go down to my filters. And I'm going to say uh, distort. And I'm going to go to ocean ripple. 
Now each of this, glass, displays, glow, uh, there's another ripple there that's a little more ripply than the ocean ripple, and sphere eyes that makes it look fat in the middle and twirl and wave. You want to want to come back here and play with this, not particularly for this picture, but for some shape, some image, and make that work. All right, I'm going to ocean ripple, and that gives me then uh, a box will come open here in a minute. It has to go through the computer and see a little color wheel turning. And um, it opens a box that allows me to see what I'm going to do. Now, here it is. It's a little large. See, it's 100% down here. So I'm going down here to this minus, and I'm going to back it off so I can see what I'm looking at. Okay, so now I have ocean ripple, and I have size that I can play with and magnitude. And so I don't want to get it way overdone if I do my ripple size too much, it gets way wiggly. And sometimes it takes you a while to see that for it to respond. The computer has to respond. But I'm going to back it off to where I was a little bit. And look at this. Up here it says Ocean Ripple. If I open that up, there's a whole lot of other stuff I could go to. Um, splatter. And it's going to change it to splatter. I want to get a ripple effect out of it, but that's not a bad ripple. It's going to splatter, splatter. Uh, let's see what else is close. Um, uh, let's see, it lets me go through a whole lot of different areas here. Let's see, I was an ocean ripple. Let's go to the uh, plastic wrap. That's not going to do me a whole lot, but it, it does do, it makes an effect, and, and you can figure out and use it as appropriate on the different things you look at. Here, over here, it, it shows you sort of the picture of what, you, what different kinds of effects you can put on this thing. Well, I'm going to go back to where I was. Let's see. I want that ocean ripple. And um, up there. And it, uh, it gives me a little interesting off blue here. I'm not sure why that's doing that. Uh, I wonder if anything else will give me straight. Um, maybe I don't have time to go through all of this all at once. Splatter? What does that look like? That's not bad. And see, I can also make this, the spray radius a little wider. You get it a more ripple effect. Uh, take out the smooth smoothness. See what I want to make that do is look like it's it's being reflected in, in sort of not smooth water. So I think I'll go with that splatter. And you see what happened? The towers didn't offset, and that blue didn't happen. If I go back to um, the uh, ocean ripple, I, I don't know why that split up like that, but. Uh, it's a factor. Now remember, I'm going to be underwater in the blue, and, and some of my this is going to be cut off by by where I am in the picture. So let's stay with that ocean. Um, I'm going to okay that ocean swirl. But like I say, you can go through here and explore that and see what you get. Okay, I okay that, and there's my new build total building copy, and it's um, it's in, in ripple form. Now, i got to turn this upside down, don't I? Because it's going to have to show backwards or upside down in that reflection of the water. So I've selected the, the total building copy. I'm going to go here to Edit and down to Transform. And I'm going to say Rotate 180 degrees. I'm going to rotate just that layer. And then I'm going to grab it and drag it down here. Now what I've got to do, even though it's going out of the bottom of the picture, I've got to start to match this with the original. So I'm going to turn the total building back on the, the uh, original one. And um, let's see, I've got to get my total building copy underneath of my original. And then I can move it around. Now, that isn't right. You see the green's coming down below the water line. So I've got to move this so that the water line is where it ought to be. Oh, there's one other thing that's wrong here. Because I flipped it uh, 180 degrees, I've got it backwards here. You see this tower is showing up over here. So I'm going back to Edit, Transform, and Flip Horizontally. That means it's going to flip from right to left. There. Now I've got the reflection, and I've got it all working pretty much in my degree so that it's, um, it's more believable. Even the, um, the flower pots here. I, 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 generally, the reflection starts from the base of this to the base of this. And, but I'm just going to guess a little bit more here and then move this thing around. Now, I have um, the, I've worked this before, and there's the one that I've worked on. I'm going to put that back in there. It's not much different than what I have. The difference here, though, is this. That 
total building copy upside down now and turn around so it faces right. Look at the opacity is 100%. Let's bring the opacity down so it gets a little more transparent in that water. It's still ripply and it's still like, like water. Now remember the water is there behind it. Though I turn the water off, I get the orange background. Don't want that. So I get that effect with the building rippling in the water and uh, reflecting the building up here. Now I could put type down in here or the name of the program or there's other things. I could put people standing over here if I want to put people in it. But uh, I'm going to turn off my show transform control so the bounding box goes away. So I can look at this and say that's beginning to work out the way I wanted to see it. Um, that was the new building copy I made. Here's the older one. And I don't, I don't see a lot of difference. Maybe here in the reflection of the of the uh, white uh, budding flowers in these planters. And you see, I, I'm not seeing the towers here very much, so that, that kind of negates that blue thing. I'm not sure why that's going on that way, but it, it, it doesn't have to be perfect over here. It's just ripply. So with that then, I've got them all lined up here. I'm, maybe my layer one here, I'll just take that out because I'm not using it at the moment, but it could be lettering over the top or it could be another person standing here that's or someone on a horseback if I wanted to make it a little more um, storyline and the way we go. So this manufacturing of additional part of the building and taking that new building and making it uh, a, a copy uh, upside down and backwards and rippling it and, and making it transparent over the blue gives you the effect of a little more dramatic picture. Now I can take this and say, all right, I'll save it as is, uh, file, save as. Right now I'm going to save it to my desktop, and later I'll put it in the proper file. And it's the uh, Rosenborg Castle 3. Remember I had the 1 and the 2 where I was working on it, so I'm going to save that with all of its layers. And then I'm going to save it. I will collapse this, so um, I'll go uh, to flatten image. I'm not going to do it just yet and save that then that picture or move that picture into the production ranks as a total and complete picture. So this is the effect of having uh, a picture that you're going to enhance and add to and then do the rippling and do whatever else that works in Photoshop, which are hundreds of choices that uh, give you down the road a lot of good design examples and design decisions to make. Your your job now in the assignment is to take a building and do this. If you want to use my building, to use all the parts, put it, or, you know, make, it, make it split, or get another building. Make it simple so you can take the sky out and make it uh, so that it's not very complicated to get all that thing around. But for your case, you, know, you can just take a simpler building. But remember, you have to have something that, uh, where you can split the grass into the water line and then do the reflection to it. See how that works out.